Hi everybody, this is Kate Haley. I hope you're having a great day. Um, today we're bringing you something a little bit special. It's almost a part two to what we did at noon. If you tuned in at noon, what did I do with them? We printed uh, holiday cards on traditional card stocks from Hanamul and Moab, um, just to give you some ideas on some holiday card fun. Um, and so Devin hosted that and showed you guys how to do that with your computers using Photoshop and awesome paper. Um, but this afternoon, we want to switch it up a little bit and give you some ideas on uh, getting a little bit crafty and just kind of having a little bit of fun with it. Um, before we dive into that, though, I just want to take a moment to let you know about the store, how we're operating, um, and all that good stuff. So the store is open seven days a week. Um, curbside a pickup is available. Sorry, I only had my coffee at like 8 o'clock, and I should have gotten more coffee before we did this. Anywho. Um, we have curbside pickup available, shipping available, free shipping on orders over $49 with some restrictions, um, or you can come in and shop. There's tons of great uh, holiday specials happening throughout the month. So check our newsletters, check our uh, holiday specials um, page on our website for all the awesome deals, um, including some of the paper that we talked about today, like this Hanamule paper is on sale right now, the photo tens. Anyhow, so if you're ready to shop, we got all the things for you. Um, this will be a little bit special because um, it brings together a love of a few things for me. Um, I have a long, long love of working with instant film, like going back to being a kid, and we always had a Polaroid camera in the house. Um, but over the past, uh, I'll say, eight or so, maybe 10 years, um, I've shifted and started really using the Fuji film Instax cameras um, in a variety of sizes, shapes, and forms. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or if you've attended some printing events or photo walks with me, you've probably seen me bring out uh, an Instax Mini Link printer. I'm going to put this on this little camera over here. We have a little side camera. Um, or potentially, you've seen a Lee Play, which is also a mini printer. A little lower. Sorry, I don't mean to cut them off. So these guys do uh, mini prints that fit in your credit card size wallet kind of thing. So they print little guys like this. Or maybe you want a little baby Yoda. <laughs> um, so these are fairly inexpensive. I'm going to show you guys how these work in a moment. Um, another love I have is of the square format. So I have the awesome SQ6. Um, but Fuji recently came out with the SQ1, um, which is kind of like the Mini 11, but bigger. Um, so some of the images I'm going to use today were shot on a Mini 11, which is uh, Fujifilm's newest Instax camera. And some were shot with some of these other cameras that I have. I don't have an SQ1 yet, um, maybe one of these days. Um, but I already have like 10 Instax cameras, so maybe I don't need it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I love the SQ6. Um, Glazers has some of these in stock. Um, as a matter of fact, Glazers has all of these things on the table in stock today. Um, but before we get started, um, just a little bit about me. I am a portrait and travel photographer, and of course I'm not traveling much these days right now. Um, but one of the things that I've been doing during all of this COVID create your projects at home kind of time um, has been playing around with lighting setups and just kind of like really getting creative um, and honestly practicing lighting and coming up with new kind of out there ways to light things um, and using some props that I have at home. So you're going to see some of those photos and I'm going to talk about that. Um, so we're going to go over to my presentation. Um, I have a short presentation. I'm going to try and talk through this fairly quickly um, because my hope is that we go through the presentation and then I'm able to demo using a printer and uh, putting a card together kind of quick. So if you have questions during this time, please post those in the comments on uh, Facebook or in the YouTube chat. And Devin Hi. will be the voice, voice behind the scenes. scenes asking me those questions because right now all I can see is my presentation. So um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Um, and this was kind of born of the idea of doing something fun, um, giving myself a creative project. But then when I started thinking about it, this is a great project that you could do with your family, with your kids, or maybe it's something your kids want to do themselves. Um, so kind of where do we start with the idea of making our own cards? Well, we start with photos, right? We're here because of photography. Um, so we think about an image that maybe we have. Um, maybe you want a snowy winter scene or something like that. Maybe you want to, um, 
<laughs> Sorry, someone's coming in the room. Um, yeah, so maybe you want a snowy winter scene. Maybe you have a prop that you want to photograph that's kind of got a holiday kind of spirit to it. There's a lot of options that you could go through. Um, in this case, I decided to kind of build my own sets at home and photographs, like I said, some props that I have at home, uh, hence the little baby Yoda. Now, I could tell you what his real name is, but if you haven't seen The Mandalorian, the most current episode, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> so I'm going to just call him Baby Yoda. Even though we spoiled it in the first Te issue. Even technically, though we spoiled it. technically, he's the, the child. child. I know, so he's the child. He's obviously not Yoda. But if you grew up with Star Wars, it's Baby Yoda. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure that'll create some commentary Spoil, in the chat. Spoiler alert, Yoda's dead, so. Oh, hush. <laughs> His spirit lives with all of us. Okay, He's enough with the force. Enough of with the force, okay. So think about images that you might have in your catalog uh, in Lightroom or whatever, or maybe iPhone snapshots of your family or your kids or your spouse um, or cute selfies. Like there's no end to what you can do with this, okay? But start with a photo. It could be a photo that you captured on an instant camera, which is what like I would want to do right now is use like the SQ6 or the SQ1 or one of the mini cameras to take a few snapshots. And that's actually what I did here. I'm going to go cut over to this camera over here. So this photo, can we see this? This is Devin. Um, yeah. And some of you know who he is. Most of you actually probably all know who he is. The big this old is shot on the mini 11. And so I took this and I built this little card with it that I get to give to him and he gets to probably give to his wife or somebody. Who knows? Um, so I took the photo and I added some bling. And that's basically what this is about. It's kind of like making things shiny for the holiday season. Um, so use whatever camera you have. You can use your iPhone, your Android phone. Um, you can actually use that and connect to the printer and print out your images. There's just a lot of fun that you can do with it. Okay. Like I said, for me, I got creative. Um, in my home, I use part of my home as like a little mini photo studio. So I have lights. I made a background that is super shiny and has so much bokeh, it's ridiculous. As you can see from this shot, I was shooting super shallow depth of field. Um, I think this is like shot at 1.4. Um, but I got creative and I wanted to have fun and I wanted to shoot my own images. But like I said, you could go into your catalog. Maybe you find something that's like snowy um, or something in the mountains, um, again, or family photos. Um, maybe you've had a photographer do family portraits with you. Um, maybe you've shot them yourself with a tripod. The opportunity is endless. What I want you thinking about, though, is personalizing the card and the experience. When you order cards online, that's also a great option. But when you print them yourself with these little printers, you can get fun film, like this has comic film, little comic patterns. Can we get over here? Yeah. So there's little quotes and things like that on it. And it, it can be a lot of fun. And it's just different. Um, when I think about like putting these cards together, I'm going to show a few of these on the side camera over here. Hopefully, it'll focus. There we go. Um, but I can add elements. I can put a date on it. I can write a word on it, like joy. And there's just like little elements where I can kind of bling it out um, and you know make it kind of fun and festive, but unique. So when someone receives this, it might be silly looking to some of you, but it shows that I took this moment to like sit down and create something versus um, printing it through a print lab. And print labs are great. I love them. I use them. Um, but I'm just trying to get you to think about creating something yourself. Um, there's something special about that that's really, really nice. Um, so getting into the idea of shooting your own images, Maybe you don't have that wintry scene. Maybe you want to take a drive, take a road trip, get out of the city for a day, and go find some snow. You know, when I think about wintry scenes and snow, I think about the holiday season. Um, so that's another option for you, too. I already talked about like creating a scene or a set in your house. Um, this image was actually shot on my iPhone in an app called Hipstamatic, which has uh, a film simulation that looks like snow over the image, which is kind of goofy, but a lot of fun. Um, but I can take this photo and print it on the Instax Mini link and put this on one of these cards, which is what we're here to talk about. Um, also, creating a portrait yourself is another great way. Um, I didn't actually shoot this one of myself, but you can kind of get the idea. Um, it's a photo of me. I'm wearing a mask. 
I'm out doing some street photography with a couple of my photography buddies. Um, and we got to the space where there was this interesting street art. So we each took turns. We all have photos of each other in the same little nook uh, in different angles and light and shot in different ways. And for this one, I thought, OK, well, I'm going to send this to my mom. Uh, because this is what I look like right now. My mom lives in Florida. I live here in Seattle. I haven't seen her since two Christmases ago now because I haven't been able to travel. Um, and so I thought it'll be fun for me to send this to her. Um, and I'm going to talk about kind of the colors and like building the colors together in just a moment. So yeah, so like I said, shoot your own images, um, create a scene in your home, um, just have fun with it. And if you want to go the instant route, like one of the things I do love about it is that instant gratification, right? You take a photo with an Insta camera, boom, you have a print, um, and it's really awesome. There's a little sense of wonder and nostalgia that gets tied into that too. Um, my favorite options are, like I showed you everything on this table. Um, like I said, right now I don't have an SQ1, um, but the Mini 11, if you want that smaller print, is going to be great. And the cool thing about these cameras is if you do have kids that are interested in photography, it's a great way to kind of get them into photography, um, and they might want to get in. And like this could be like a little family um, gathering, a little family event you could do together. So it could be a lot of fun. The next thing is like printing those photos. Now, you could go, if you have a traditional printer at home, you can buy paper and um, do what we did earlier today. Um, and that session is live on our YouTube channel if you want to watch it, if you missed it. Um, so <laughs> but you could print like on a traditional paper, or again, you can print on film. Um, and the film does have a different look. Um, the Instax prints are going to print maybe a little bit darker. Um, you won't have the same control over an Instax print as you would a traditional print. Um, but I'll give you a couple of tips when I get into that section. Okay. So uh, again, the gear used for these are uh, the Mini 11, which is this little guy, newest one. This one retails, I think, for $69.95. Um, the Mini Link, which is $99.99. Uh, the Lee Play is a little bit more. And let me just take a moment to talk about the Lee Play. The Lee Play is not just a printer. This is a camera. As you can see, it's got a lens on it. So this is, ooh, <laughs> this is their hybrid. OK, this is one of their hybrids. What's awesome about this is there's Bluetooth connectivity. You have a glass element lens. There's a little selfie mirror on the front of it. Um, there are presets in here, kind of like Instagram filters. Um, so you could shoot with this camera, or you can connect to your phone. And look at how small it is. So this is my phone. This is the printer. Obviously, it's a little bit thicker because it's doing stuff. But this is smaller than my iPhone. Um, so it's easy to kind of have this in the bag wherever you go. Um, there's a lot of other things that you can do with this printer, but it's also a camera. So always remember that. For a little bit more than the price of a printer, you can get a camera and printer in one. And this also takes a little micro SD card. So you could shoot, honestly, thousands of photos with this camera and then maybe fill that SD card up. I have a 32 gig card in here. I've yet to fill it up. Um, and all of these are like, not all of them. The uh, Link and the Lee Play are rechargeable. Um, and the others will take different kinds of like AA or AAA or CR2 batteries. So most of them come with the batteries. So basically, you can buy the camera, be good to go. Um, I also have an SQ20, which is a digital hybrid like the Lee Play, um, but is in the square format. So it shoots out these little prints versus, ooh, and I'm dropping prints, these. So this is mini, this is square. And there is a third option. There's a wide printer. Um, but for a lot of the cards that I'm using, the wide film stock doesn't, it's a little too big. So I'm sticking with these sizes. OK. Now, oops, one of my fonts got out of place. Hang on, let me fix that real quick. Burp. <laughs> OK. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit more quickly. Um, so you can see here, I'm using art cards. So these are like basically uh, cards that could be used for watercolor or different kinds of painting or sketching. Um, and they're made from a company called Strathmore. Um, I'm going to, uh, there's going to be a gear list that's available. I say gear list. It's a gear slash craft list um, <laughs> that will be available um, in a link to download. Do you have a question? We do have one question. And since it's on the uh, screen right there, it makes sense to bring up. 
Somebody was asking, how do you make the edge of the card look torn? Okay, that is, I bought it that way. <laughs> Fair question. You can get, um, typically when you go to buy these kinds of uh, um, uh, cards or envelopes, they come with what they call a deckled edge, deckled. Um, so you can get it smooth or deckled. I personally like the deckled um, one because it has that torn look. It's got a little bit of a, a different texture to it that's just kind of nice. But for some of the cards I found, I also have like these craft cards that are made of like craft cardboard paper. Um, so some of the cards I'm using, I'm going to do this too. Um, and this is just a little bit of a cleaner edge. Um, and this is much smaller and works really great with the mini film. It's like kind of perfect. So I did a bunch of those. Um, but that'll be, that's on the um, little list that will be available for what to buy. Um, so I'm just going to kind of dive into this. You see all this stuff on the table. Um, I did schedule this session for a short amount of time, so I kind of want to roll through this, but keep asking those questions if you have them. One thing I want you to think about is color. When you go to lay out your card, think about elements that are going to work together. So if we go back to this crazy looking card I made with this, which my mom will appreciate because I'm goofy. Um, I have like silver at the top for a little bling. Um, I made little silly looking ornaments in the bottom left corner with glitter glue. Yes, I said it, glitter glue. Um, <laughs> and then I picked these pink and blue elements that I added little snowflake glitter to um, because they go with the colors in the photo. So think about if you're going to add and build elements into a card like this, think about colors that go together. So for the one with Devin, we had a red background. So I picked red and then I added green to give it that Christmassy feel because he's wearing Christmas tree lights in his sweatshirt. I don't know if you can see that or not. Light it up. Light, Light it up. up. Um, so that's like one of the things that I want you to think about is add elements that fit the image and the theme. Um, and so here's just like screenshots of those as well. And then consider building layers. So for this Yoda card, Sorry, baby, the child card. We'll take that back. The child. I don't know if you guys can see that. So for this card, it started just as a blank card. Sorry, my mom's address is showing right there. Um, <laughs> hopefully they didn't see that. Um, and I just basically used glue. Swipe some glue on there. And then I realized, you'll see what I did, that I needed to add more glue because I wanted to add more glitter. Yes, I said that, add more glitter. Um, so I drew these lines of glitter, glue, and then I started adding glitter and then added more glitter. Um, and then I added the lines in a little bit and then you could see where I was going to maybe lay out the image on all of it. So it's just a pattern. You know, I'm not an artist. Um, I, I'm a photographer. You who, are. I mean, I am in a way, but like I'm not a painter. So I can't draw, I can't sketch, I can't do any of that. Like I'm really good at stick figures and I'm a pretty good photographer, I feel like. Um, I do feel like I have a creative eye sometimes, or most of the time. But um, you get the idea here. It's just kind of like building layers. So for like this card, I started with just the image, and then I built around it. I added washi tape, which is like this stuff right here. Okay. It's just like a roll of tape that you can get with different patterns or shapes, and some are glittery and some aren't. Um, but when quick tip on washi tape. Washi tape is not super adhesive. So normally I will use something to adhere the image to the card and then just use washi tape as a decorative element um, because it just doesn't hold down. Especially on some surfaces it may work better than others, but these cards that I'm using are quite textured because it's kind of like a sketching watercolor paper almost. Um, so the tape will lift off. Where is a good place to get washi tape, actually? There's a lot of places, and I have a list of resources for you that you'll be able to download. And I will talk about that. I'm actually going to show them on the screen, too, because I'm very passionate about one element of that, and we're going to get to that in a moment. So hold tight. Some of the tools. So I've shown you guys the Instax cameras. The go-to for everything that was created here was really the Lee Play, the Mini 11, and the Link. And then I also used a couple of the square cameras for just a couple of square shots. Glitter glue, glitter, and you can get kits that have these tubes. Um, I just had one of these tubes completely dump out into my bag, so be careful. Um, <laughs> um, but you can also get these packets. Like if you don't want to invest in tons of glitter, 
if this is maybe like we're going to try this project and see how it goes, um, at some of the craft stores you can get like these little packets for just a couple of dollars and it gives you a nice variety. You don't have to use glitter. You can get like these glitter glue sticks from Elmer's and other brands and you can get like six or eight or 12 colors for just a few bucks. So this is a nice option, nice option because you can like paint with it or draw with it. Um, and in some cases, I use the glitter glue and then also like these awesome bigger pieces of glitter. So this is like a tube of glitter. I'm going to go over here, Devin. Whoops. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but in here is a bunch of like mini Christmas trees and then little snowflakes. Hopefully, there we go. Um, and then like I found like these really adorable <laughs> Santa hat stickers for $1. Like that was too much of a steal not to get. Um, and then, you know, just other things that are fun, like, you know, pins that are fun and bright and vibrant and colorful. Um, and then little stamp pads. You can get bigger stamp pads than this, but I like these. Sorry, I'm trying to find the light. There we go. Focus, there we go. Color box. So, color box. I like this brand because their inks are highly pigmented and they just look really good. And I even have like a cute little camera stamp. Like how cute is that? Or an owl, like if you like owls, you know. Like so you can, like, eh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, there we go. Okay, you can see there's a little residual ink on him. But what I'm trying to get at is you can find elements that are like, you know, maybe your kids love SpongeBob. Maybe you love SpongeBob. Uh, maybe you love Snoopy, like me. You know, maybe there's a variety of things that you could use. You kind of get the idea. So here's the slide with a bigger selection of stamps. And I do have, I did actually bring this in. So this is like a box that has um, alphabet stamps um, in capitalization and lowercase. So, and it's just like little individual stamps, little teeny tiny stamps. Um, burp, burp. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. But you see how small they are. But I have like a whole box of them. Um, so, Ah, which doesn't always want to close. Anyhow, we'll put that down. Um, there's a close-up of the stamps. So, super quick, please shop local. So, 2020 has been a year, for lack of a better, ways, bad, better way of saying that, and uh, supporting your local camera store to buy your Instax products will be greatly appreciated. Um, I can say if you buy an Instax Mini, 11, Link, or Lee Play, you get free film. We have free film for you if you buy a camera. Um, so that's going to be at the front. Now, it is while supplies last. We have some film, so don't waste. Get your camera today. Again, you can order online. Uh, come in and see us or uh, have it shipped to you or do curbside pickup. Um, these are some of my go-to options for crafts. Now, granted, Artisan Craftsman and Blick are uh, national companies. They have stores in different cities. Um, but they have a really great selection, and Artisan Craftsman, Craftsman is actually um, employee-owned. So um, while they have, there are a chain store like Michael's, like Michael's is obviously another option to get things like this, um, these businesses are going to be more impacted by what we've been going through this year than some of those larger chains. Um, Room to Craft is actually not just a craft store, but they also have a space. So once we're Beyond the COVID times when you can actually go in and hang out, um, you can go in and use their space to create stuff or you can buy stuff from them. Um, and they also do classes. So if you're really wanting to get more into crafting, check out their website. And, and a lot of these, all of these guys are doing um, sessions like this during this time. So we have just a few minutes left. I want to share my Instagram handle. Please follow and connect with me there. Um, and then what I want to do is try and do a quick demo of showing you how to print an image. And I don't know if we'll have a full, enough time to put a whole card together, but I wanted to give you some ideas. So before I do that, any questions yet? Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to, uh, like, you're almost at 6,000? Good followers? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good job. Um, yeah. So <laughs> mostly people have been asking, uh, where do you get the your camera stamps, um, okay. those are so cool. And where do you buy the individual letter and number stamps? OK, OK, I have a confession to make. Um, uh -oh. uh, so I bought this years ago, um, and I did get this on Amazon. Granted, technically, they're a local company, but, 
business. Local business. Um, but Glazers doesn't carry stamps, so it's not a thing that I could buy there. Um, and actually, I got these camera stamps. I have a couple of them. I got these at Urban Craft Uprising a few years ago, which is a local craft show that we have here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, and it may travel. Um, but I think if you just like do a quick Google for camera stamp, you probably will be able to find something like that. Or camera ink stamp, like do that kind of combination. Um, but a lot of these elements I got at Artisan Craftsman, Craftsman, a few I got at Dick Blick, and a few I got at Michael's. Like the Santa hats, these are from Michael's. But they were too cute, I could not get them. So, okay, so I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna close my computer. Bye bye, computer. You broke it. I broke it. I'm gonna unplug it. Okay, I'm unplugging more. I'm gonna put this off to the side. So, the first thing I wanna try and do is print a photo. So, I'm gonna turn the Instax mini link on. This is gonna be the easiest way for me to do this. Oh, you know what I should have done? Um, connected my phone to the thing so you could see what I'm doing. Anyhow, Just hold it up to the I'm going to hold it up to the other camera. Okay, so, I mean, it can kind of see it, actually. so here's, you know, I actually already have this loaded. Can you guys see that okay? It's a little bright. Um, so this is the mini link app. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this option called simple print. I'm going to find a Probably a Snoopy photo to print because that was the easiest one. Um, maybe. Where is it? Here it is. Um, and a couple things to keep in mind when it comes to printing within these apps is that um, this film, it takes a few minutes to fully develop. So what may happen is when the image is printed, you might find the image looks a little bit darker than you thought it would be. So normally, um, I will brighten the image just a little bit. And in the editor, which hopefully you can see that OK, yep. there's an option to called filter. So I'm going to tap on filter. And I normally do auto, which in Lightroom or something like that, I would never do. Um, but what auto will do is just brighten the image just a little bit, typically. And it's trying to optimize the image for the printer. OK? So I'm going to, after that, I'm just going to hit the little print button in the middle. Maybe. Did I hit it? Yep. And so it's sending. And it actually gives you this fun little graphic. And then it's going to come out of here, which is covered in glitter. <laughs> All right. I just assume most of your things are covered in glitter. They are not. It is only right now. So this is going to take a few minutes to, de to develop. You're going to see part of the image come through and maybe the first 15 seconds. but. I have other images that I could use in the meantime. So what I thought I would do is just start with a blank card. And we'll do uh, the child. Now, the first thing, if you have a hot glue gun, this will be a little bit better. But here I have this uh, Elmer's Crafty Bond or Craft Bond. And I'm just going to run some glue at the top and the bottom of the card. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to do too little. Um, I don't want to run it b along the back because that can affect the way the image looks over time. And then the intention is hopefully to kind of place it fairly even. And I normally just kind of press down for a moment to give it an opportunity to kind of set into place. Um, typically what I'll do is give this a moment to set. And I'll do a few, set it aside, and let them dry before I add other elements. Now, this is where like the cute Santa hat sticker might come in handy <laughs> because I can put like a little Santa hat on the child because I'm sure he celebrates Christmas, <laughs> believes in Santa Claus. So like you know, here's one start. Here we go. Trying to find the light. Trying to find the light. I don't know. You get the idea. Light found. Light found. Um, and then you know I could take an owl stamp, or what I have been doing for a lot of these is just to kind of keep it simple, because I have friends who come from different backgrounds. Um, like I did this one, and I put a Santa hat on this one, and I just stamped joy at the bottom of it. That's all, just keeping it simple. But it just is, is super simple, it's super fun. When my friend gets this, she's gonna be like, oh my god, that's so Kate. And that's like the thing. 
She knows that I sat down and I thought about what image to put on the card. Uh, this is going to go to my friend Paul because when he saw, I did a reel of like my lighting setup for this and he was like, oh my God, that's so fun. I was like, okay, what's your address? I'll send you a card, right? Now that doesn't mean everybody can send me their address. I'm poor. I can't send everybody cards, unfortunately, <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, let's see, this one right here, like that one's going to go to my mom because it's me. Um, this one, Devin, what, who are you going to give yours to, Devin? Uh, Who's that going to? I mean, I want to say my wife, but maybe Kamali would appreciate it a bit more. Oh, Kamali might appreciate it. <laughs> it, it might be true. You might be right. Uh, this one has three the childs because I used uh, a multi-exposure option on my camera. And I also used this uh, reflective refraction tool called uh, oh, Omni Filter from Lens Baby. So I created three Baby Yodas. There, I said it on here. And this is going to go to my friend Steven. Now he knows. I like your photorealistic tree drawing. Photo, yeah, I can't draw trees. Oh, it kind of is, right? I did okay. I can't draw. I drew that. That's not so bad. See the little, gr the little glitter the tree? tree? Look at that. And I put star glitter on it to give it ornaments. Okay. This is embarrassing, folks. We got to take this one down. <laughs> so that's the starting point. You get the idea. Hopefully you get the idea. Um, I could stamp. Um, and I get some of these stamps colors I get are metallic as well. The metallic will show up a little bit be better if you find cardstock like this. Um, I also use like red or, or green. I want something vibrant. So again, I'm thinking about like the colors. I have like red candy cane stripes and I used a red stamp and there's a red ornament. So there's like some thought about the color and the placement of things. Oh, thought, <laughs> so much sass. Okay. Um, I mean, I feel like that's it. <laughs> Mostly people just want to know where you got your stuff. <laughs> okay. That's been about it. So, but you, you've so covered I that. Have, so I put together a little, um, a little PDF that I'm going to upload to Dropbox and I'll put the link in the description for this video so you can go there and, and download that. If you have specific questions, just put those in the comments on like very specific, like where did you specifically get that stamp? I'm going to tell you. I bought this at a big craft show and I can't remember what vendor I got this at. Um, but I'm sure that there's a way for you to find a stamp like that. Um, these stamps, if you, I mean, if you just Google like alphabet lettering stamps, you'll find this and there's different options. I got the ones that look like typeset because I like typewriter fonts. Um, oh, and then there's other elements like this. So for like this card where you have like the two colored sides over here, this is just a, a, sa a paper sample palette that you can get for a couple of dollars. This was literally two dollars. But then I found one that's got like metallic paper because I like shiny things. Quick question about that booklet. Yes. Uh, personally, the uh, is that like Instax sized? Because it's slightly smaller. Okay, because I I feel like it'd be nice to be able to back the Instax yes. so it doesn't just say like the do not eat this um, right. <laughs> sensitive and material. Not, only, not all the film says do not eat this. But yeah, this is just slightly smaller. This is two by three. I think this is like two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Because I think it'd be a good idea if you like oh. backed it because yeah. um, that could become like a micro card that you could write on. That'd well, be kind of cool. And you can also find covers for these. So you can get film, like I said, that's festive. Like I have this comic film. Um, you can get rainbow film. There's all these different film options that you can get. So the border's not just white. Like we have the, the black frame film. I think we have the rainbow film, um, four square or mini. There's also black and white film. So there's a lot of options there. Um, definitely hit us up if you have questions about any of the Instax stuff. Um, because like I said, if you buy an Instax mini, you get mini film. I don't, we don't have any square film for free, unfortunately, but I mean, this is like a $10 or $12 value, that one pack of film. And it'll get you started when you get your new camera printer. Okay, so uh, I, we're a little bit over time. I, I know that was goofy, but hopefully um, it inspired you to think a little bit out of the box this holiday season. Uh, an appropriate guest, Sassy Forever, uh, says, I think you did a great job on the cards. Thank you for all the tips to DIY. Thanks. Thank you for that. And thanks for tuning in for both of those. So we appreciate that. Okay, with that said, um, we are not done with our holiday cheer and holiday offers and holiday programming um, this holiday season. Can I say holiday? 
One more time. I was going to say Hoyle Day. I could, but I'm not going <laughs> to. So um, tomorrow we have a super special session uh, with Sigma. Aaron Norberg and I are going to hang out and answer your questions and give you some tips on kind of like a holiday gear guide for Sigma lenses. That session is also free. Um, that one's going to be over Zoom, so it's going to be a little bit more intimate. We'll just kind of hang out and chat. Um, but you know, the intention is that you can ask questions about Sigma gear um, and also get some recommendations of maybe that next lens you want to purchase. We'll have more programming like that with Nikon in a couple of weeks and in, with Sony. We're doing a couple of different similar kind of gear guide, holiday gift guide kind of sessions. So check out our, our website for uh, upcoming programming. Um, go to the workshops and events page for that. And then go to our holiday specials page for all of the holiday deals. And before we go, one more thing, because Devin's looking at me funny. Um, we also have created a really cool microsite that's just focused on holiday. We have staff recommendations. We have um, holiday picks for like the outdoor enthusiast, for the budding photographer, gifts under 100, um, analog options. So like if you're into film, so we've put this holiday gear guide together. Um, really, it's more than a gear guide. Um, it's a great selection of products that we wanted to kind of feature. Some are on sale, some might not be on sale, but it, hopefully it'll give you some gift ideas for the photographer or creative in your family this holiday season. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. What you got, Devin? I uh, was just recommending that you get your second coffee. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I might need that, yeah. A little perk um, up. All right, uh, and also stay tuned to our social channels for hopefully some fun stuff that Devin and I are cooking up. So, <laughs> put it out there and we're gonna do it now. <laughs> Bye everybody. Have a great day everybody, thanks for tuning in.